Hello, internet. I woke up today at like 4 or like 3 p.m. I forgot, but it's about that amount. <laughs> Nothing new, right? What is wrong with my life? But anyways, today we have something special. Something new. Because today we have Zaha. I don't know how you pronounce his name. And it's like the weirdest name ever, Zaha. Why not give it, you know... As I said in my so many videos, Alexander. He feels like an Alexander, don't you think? Now, Zaha is a full-fledged violent kryptonite. But with Zaha, it's like a kryptonite. He touches it, boom. Disintegrated. Because we have 50% hit chance. That means violent cannot evade. It's like 5%, actually. Oh yeah, 5% to evade. So actually, Zaha is, is, is kind of not like a kryptonite. It's like a really rotten egg. 5% chance to miss on a violet. So I would say, why not just make it 55? <sighs> Another thing that you could see is that I don't really have a lot of molas, do I? To compensate for that, usually I would go for like a bruiser build, but to compensate for not having enough damage on mola, I have a lot of offensive stats. Now, I don't know about the right build for him, but I do believe some people go for like a bruiser build though, and then secret siphon and stuff. But I'll go for it. I'll try Omega offensive one, just to one shot like a violet. I got portrait too, and yeah, the idea is to have a time buff and then just nuke. But today we have a war against Vandals. Now Vandals is a Valorant gun, and I hate that game. Now this might be the first video where where I show myself being in whale. But yes, I am in whale now. Oh, yeah, I, I don't feel. Well, you can see the words right there. I'm in whale now. I switch guilds. First fight. I swear, if there's like no violence, I mean our whole guild should be testing Zaha out, right? No? Here we go, round one. This is a bit risky, but we should we should be fine. Flan will lick- uh, Flan would push Milim. My inner desire is leaking out, but anyways. Milim would punch the shit out of this carrot. And once we're done punching her, we'll yell her to her death. So once I extinct her, it's over. Like, there will be no carrot in this world. Like, stick those carrots. And from that point on, we should win. We, we should just keep punching a child, keep punching a dragon girl, and we should win. And there's Ruel there, giving that lovely smile of hers. Round two, this is the one where it's, where it's a bit special. I feel like I'll absolutely lose this based on the fact that this thing is an ML6 star. Right, so AOL goes. I'm hoping for 15%. I'm expecting AOL to just land all their demos no matter how much ER I have. It's just going to happen. So I'm expecting 15% either on Zaha or on any of my Soul Reavers. If I get any of them on my Soul Reavers, uh, you know, the 15% resistance, I'll be able to cleanse things off. So hopefully I get Zaha with attack buff and then just nuke this guy off. But we always have the 5%. I, I, it's, it's, it's just on purpose. Why did I put that? It's just on purpose. Just the cut guns in RTA. The one time you're going to pick Zaha is the one time it's not going to like hit the violent and proc that 5% with the miss. But anyways, Flan will go first. This should be pretty damn simple. It depends on how much damage this punch would do. I'm hoping it's a lot, but it might not be. That's okay. I don't crit that much of a type of it's a milim. It's my mill. Oh sh! After all the slimy times I had to get a reverse, she will not let me down. Destroy the carrot. Oh, oh, fuck! That's a good carrot. An extinct one. But well, anyways, here we go, Senya. I don't know what to expect from this one. She might end me. Was that a miss? She did like she almost killed my milim on a miss. Where's the defense? Yo, this is one of those days. I can already feel it. I I'll get I'll get the 5% evasion on freaking Zaha. I swear to God. Ow. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything that can go wrong will absolutely go wrong today, isn't it? Are you kidding me? If I lose this, holy shit. I'm going to, I don't know, donate to an organization with like... My, my college savings because why spend on a gacha game anymore? I, I just have too, too bad of a luck thing. Counter... Doesn't hurt. Here we go, villain. Punch the living dragon out of this girl. There we go. Done now. Now we destroy this child with another child. Slimy child wins, dude. Slimy child always win. Dude, Milim's my new favorite now. All right, here goes. I was hoping it was me, but if we don't, then 15%. Okay, all right. Fun times shall now commence. Amelia into Zahak. And now, <laughs> are we gonna get 15%? Do we have to use anything else? Uh, this one gives barrier, so no. This one just hits, so no. So it's just S3, S3. Hit chance, crit hit chance 50%, so I get to like nine, uh, 92. Because I don't have the final awakening story. If I do, it's 100. This injures as well, and yeah, I have 5% chance of not hitting the violent. Let's go. There we go. We hit. Okay. That doesn't do enough, does it? Never mind. That does more than enough. <laughs> gee! I thought it did not do enough by the way that HP was coming down so slowly, but jeez. Mind you, that was a plus three S3. I'm still missing 20%. 
damage uh, damage increase for Mola. So, wow, that's just one shot at the guy. Wow, I mean, sheesh. If I had a 20% more, then that would easily go to like 25k damage, I think. So, wow. And the best part is, I can actually still use this S2 to like help with surviving. So that, that's always good. I want to use this just to cycle faster. Boom, that means I cycle faster. I'll just punch you. Ah. Of course, the single target counterattacks always happens. Sobert increases damage dealt, so eh. I mean, I'll, just, I'll still just hit you. That did 8.3. What the fuck, bro? That's a lot of damage, jeez. That's 8.3k on like an Angelica, which I would assume has some defense. So, wow. Right, now, just stun. Well, here we go again. Does that kill me? Jesus Christ. Okay, that, that almost did. Not enough, though. Not enough. We sober and heal the mate. Just, just for it to survive a bit more. And now we just punch you. This should kill you. And you land a... Are we, are we gonna... Are we, are, we, are we about to lose? That's my question. Are we about to lose? Okay. No attack buff. We've got an execute going on. <sighs> Let's not. We'll do S1. I want to see what happens if we, you know, have, have element advantage as well. It should still do a lot. Maybe I should have just tried one with, like, you know, no attack buff just to see the damage. But damn, his S1 does so much. What the hell? If I have Secret Slide on this warrior, wouldn't that mean I just go god mode? But anyways, here we go. Attack buff, execute on a rep. You're about to get fucking sent to where Violet and Luluka spend the rest of their lives in. Basically hell. Okay, it's an 18k, so... I don't know, it, it felt like it did 18k on Violet too, so... That girl probably had, like... 1600 defense or something but hey zaha i mean considering i don't even have s3 max wow that was not hard at all did they kill off the forts already jesus christ my guildies are sick oh oh you dare hit my defense and lose do you round one this will be pretty fun now not only is zaha good against like a violet he is technically also ignoring element because he has increased 50% hit chance and if you're on an element disadvantage, you have minus 50 hit chance or, you know, 50% chance to miss. That means his skill actually makes it so that he can hit any unit. Any fire unit, he can hit because, you know, he has 50 hit chance. Against a carrot, he can still do stuff, you know? And another cool part about this card would be a crit damage buff and an attack buff on a Zaha. It should do an insane amount. A type of crit damage buff against an always protected Violet. On a max S3 Zaha, you should absolutely kill it no matter what, but you know, I, I got a compensator, right? I'm out of Olus. But round two here, we just win these because there's no rem. If there was rem, I'm afraid of, you know, unhealable, but there's no rem. There's two light units, we just put two god dark units there. The more they touch us, the more I touch them back. That's the idea of this comp. And Rowana, she likes to get touched all over. And she likes to get touched all over, not by her own, but with her teammates too. The more they touch us, we get more healthy. So we should win these. That, that, that's, that's what I mean. All right. Simple. We just do this. Zaha goes 5% chance to miss. We're not going to miss. Yeah, I'm not afraid at all. But <laughs> there's one thing though. The speed of the HP dropping is pretty slow. I'll just put it right... I'll put that out there, but yo, 25k damage, I mean... Right, am I meant to be afraid of anything here? Uh, not that much, I don't think. I'll just do this. If I get, like, defense break on my carrot, I think I can just go for it. I did. I don't know if I want to go for... Okay, no, I can't. S1 only increases crit hit chance. But it does not increase his hit chance, so I can't really do that. So I guess not, but I have the crit damage bomb. It's so wasteful, though. Not bad at all, I'll just do this. All right, this would go... Whatever. After this turn, I, I just have to take one more turn. But damn, that S1 is... How does that hurt so much? I have no idea, but okay. All right, one more turn. I can nuke a guy again. All right, all right, all right. Don't provoke. Don't pro ah, okay, no provoke. This was Oh, Etika, of course. And if you hit that again, we're gonna have some issues. Fucking game, dude. We just lost because Zaha is probably gonna do too much. Zaha did too much, and because of that, we lost. Are you serious? All right, I, I have to think. We bring Flan back. The horse would go. I doubt that would kill my Rel. I'll, I'll probably survive on like a drip of HP. Okay, shit, that might be bad. Zaha died. Don't, 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 don't. All right, we survived. <laughs> Not even afraid, bro. Now I get to sober a bunch of times and. For the love of God, please let me stall you enough. Take turns, Ruel. Heal. We're gonna go with a raw Zaha new, I think. I don't know on the crowd or on the carrot. Low key feel like carrot's the threat here, but 
I don't feel it matters. I have both my skills now, so all I have to do, land a defense raid. This will be this will be an interesting tip. This is the maximum damage that you can do. Like, like you can set up for, I think. Except you can somehow make target work. I don't think you could though. You could deliberately make it work, but it's really hard. But this is like not that hard to pull off, right? Just a defense break and then crit damage and attack bow. Zaha cannot miss against a fire unit. He cannot. So the only thing that could come is non-crits, but here we go. We're, we're looking at a 30 can do. A 35. Sheesh. All right, I see you, bro. We're about to soberness one, two. And this this S1 has no molars. It's plus zero. I don't know how he does so much. Well, I guess these two, but still. This would do like 13k. But yeah, that's the holy sack. I'm a bit afraid now. You like a 4.4k 4, 4. left. Like one Zaha touch and you're gone. Boom. You're actually shit. How does he do so much with the S1? That's insane. I don't know. Maybe it's just me feeling like it's a lot, but in reality, it's not. I don't know. It felt like a lot, a lot. All right, now. Time for some boring ass gameplay because I can't really dictate when I win here. All right, keep countering me. Go on, try it. All right, now crit. Do me a favor and crit the whole team, please. There we go. That's a good girl. All right, counter galore. Let's go. All right, I'm hoping. That's an injury rebellion. I'm hoping that they counter me right here. I kind of need it. They do not. So, what do I feel like? ML Ken's dead. Never mind, he didn't crit. <laughs> that almost killed me. That, that, I, I should not have won this, but hey, as long as you get 100 crit rate. Why does that resonate with me so much? I don't know. You should always get 100 crit rate. It's not like I don't have 100 crit rate on the units I have. It's not like I don't showcase that with 100 crit rate. All right, shoot back up. Oh, yeah. Man, ML Ken's so good. He's not good at all, but it just feels good when he just punch a kid like that. All right, now we play. It, we didn't actually wait too much because I think Ravi was the reason. He just kept countering stuff. It's crazy. And they just kept printing I'm freaking ML Ken. That, that's pretty weird too. It doesn't usually happen. Right, we'll show you what a Chad Lolly looks like. It looks exactly like you, but under my name. Nuke the shit out of her. Ah! I was expecting her to just die, but she did not die. All right, counter. I should kill from... Oh, no! I mean, we're fine. Right? We're fine. Right? We're fine. Right? Uh... Oh, shit! Uh... Uh... <laughs> Crit! Yes! Yeah! yeah! If you don't hit purple, I can save a unit. I, I like to save. I don't know. I don't. I don't really care. Forget ML Ken. As low as we were the Ori Kalkun cannon. Yeah, just just finish it. There we go, Ravi. That's a pen set diff, by the way. Penetration set diff. If I had no penetration set, dude, I would have died. It's not like I got lucky into hitting that with decreased hit chance, right? Yeah. All right. I would say Zaha would struggle against something like this. All right, here we go. Round one. Same thing. I've seen this for literally three years. FCC plus gang. Round two. This is the fun one. Double Soul Weavers and then Zaha. I feel like this will be a lot... A lot of the plays that I'll go with Zaha since he does so much on that S3. I'll just recycle him with the double soul weavers to just survive with him and keep nuking them. So that's the idea, but I feel like I'll lose this because there's a crap ton of damage on their end. So and then there's main Kui to recycle too, so it's it's really iffy, but I think I think we got this. I think we got this. Well for this though, for this. We got this. Yeah, no shot. Minim's just a meme. Like like Minim's one of the stuff where you don't have to do much. She's just a meme by existing. Alright, now I have attack buff, so let's go ahead. Easy game. Zaha into violent right off. Have not proc the five percent yet. Will not proc the five percent ever. There we go with the 18k. Some violent could survive that. That's the thing. They could. But yeah, revive plus violent. I guess Zaha still is, will still be okay considering the injury. But it could sometimes be iffy. It could, especially when you almost one shot me with a single dual attack. All right now, this would this would go on my light unit, so it's absolutely fine. There we go. It does so much. Jesus Christ. All right, just stop dual attacking and things will be fine, okay? All right, I'll just... I won't do S2 first. I think I'll save the S2 for when I don't have the... Um... Push on Amelia. That did so much. How do you do that much? Holy shit. So we'll just push you again. And then I think we literally bite with that. Just proc the revive on the main. So that does so much. It's unreal. 
That's like a plus zero. If I maxed that, he would have almost one shot the main. Are you kidding me? Wait, I'll just one here. Boom. We literally just two shot a main. We two shot. Either that main had. Of course the duel again. How do you keep duel attacking me? Oh god, I got I got killed by a maid. <laughs> That's just embarrassing, man. You should still have this. That maid's gonna die to literally the next S1 on Zaha. How does he do this? It's insane. I guess it's because I don't have to stack crit chance on him and the rest of the stat went until I attack and crit damage, so I guess that's why, but geez, that's still a lot though. Just do that and that will kill the main. Never mind. We got close. This is going to Milia. It should not one shot, although it looks like it's going to one shot. Violet's a fucking cheat code. So, okay, whatever. We just S3 here and get rid of the Violet. There we go. And I don't have a type of this time, but he is injured. That means, there we go. We absolutely kill. If you don't kill the Zaha on turn one, you're absolutely gonna do it on turn two because of the injury, right? So, I guess that's good. So, now I just touch you, and I'm pretty sure the next S1 should be enough to kill, right? Yeah! It's because I don't have max bonus. Shit, ah, that's all right, now we bring someone down. I still have the barrier. I should survive the a Ravi. I don't think I could, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, shit. Please don't kill. Please somehow don't kill. Be scuffed. That's killing her. All right, for God knows how many times in order we're going to kill the Violet. There we go. Done. No, we had not, you know, got unlucky with a freaking 5% ever yet. So that's good. Here we go. Don't you dare. All right, no stuns. So now we sober in this. And I'm banking on uh, this Ravi not one-shotting my gosh darn Zaha. Ah! Shit, you do so much. What can I do? <laughs> I will sober in here. Fuck off. I hate it. I hate it when I lose the final fight. It just leaves a bitterness in my buttocks. You wouldn't bring Zaha against that. That's like a million fight, I think. Considering how much his S1 did. And you don't need that much crit chance, right? So you could potentially put... uh counter set on him and have him work decently, I think. Is he worth getting? Absolutely. If you want an easier time against Violet, get him. It, it just makes your life way easier. And considering that's so much Violet, I would really suggest getting him. I would think when, once Violet leaves the meta for defense, you'll less likely get to Zaha that much, but he's still solid against literally anything. Literally fire units he's still solid against, so I definitely recommend pulling for him. So yeah, take care.